not different to all great artists. And what makes great artists is that their work remains. This is true for you know, uh, Chagall or Beethoven or Mozart or, or, or Ingmar Bergman or whatever. The work remains. And that is the key question. Does it disappear after three months or not? And uh, Kubrick's films are all there, from Pass of Glory, you know, Sentier de la Gloire, or Lolita, and uh, up to Eyes Wide Shut. And I'm sure Eyes Wide Shut will be properly discovered, maybe by a next generation. Yes, well, it was a masterpiece when it was first released. It's just people were not ready for it. But people are very often not ready for something new. Look, Vincent van Gogh never sold a painting. Think of this. So, because it was new. And uh, established critics can't necessarily deal with something that's new and they are not familiar with. So, uh, it's interesting that um, 2001 really was rescued by young people. Stanley Kubrick told me himself it was rescued by teenagers. And he received hundreds of letters from mainly boys between 12 and 25. Almost love letters after 2001. Why? I leave it to you. <music> Fantasy is the basis for science and for art. This is where art and science meet. That's why you have so many arts and science museums because they both depend on another expression of fantasy. They depend on the kiss of the muse. Do you understand that phrase? We don't know what it is. It's the idea. And it's the, uh, the idea to realize something that is formed in us, in an artist, from childhood onwards. So it is essential that fantasy is connected with many, many, many other things. It's, 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 it's like water. Water is necessary for, for everything. So that's the fantasy. <laughs>